I'm going to work with a size 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and two strands of worsted white yarn. So chain five to begin. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. Like that. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. I'm going to keep working until this is two inches long which is probably two more rows. Okay, so I've measured and that's about two inches long. Now I'm going to make this wider across the front part of the foot. So I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to make one single crochet in the first stitch, which is the stitch that we would normally skip. I'm going to single crochet across the row, and I'm going to make two single crochet in the last stitch. Like that, so you're starting to get wider here. Okay, so now I'm going to chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. Chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. Fasten off, and that's going to be the sole. And we're not going to worry about the fact that this is squared off because that is going to take care of itself. Because when we crochet all the way around here. That's just going to get pulled in like that. So this is how the sole is going to look. I'm going to attach my yarn in the center stitch of the heel. So I'm going to pull that yarn through and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet all the way around the outside of the sole. And when you reach the end of the row, slip stitch to join. So there's how it's going to look after the first row. I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to single crochet, starting in the second stitch, because that chain one takes the place of the first stitch, I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back and show you how that looks. Okay, I worked all the way around, and I slip stitched to join, and I'm going to do another row, chain one and turn single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I've done one more row and I've slip stitched to join. Okay, I'm going to make one band of black all around the sole. So again, I'm going to attach my yarn in the center back heel stitch. I'm going to pull my black yarn through chain one. And I'm just going to, along that row where the sides joined to the sole, I'm just going to make one single crochet all the way around the sole. Like that. I'm going to go work all the way around. Okay, I've worked all the way around, and at the end of the row, I slip stitch to join, and I fastened off. Okay, so now we're going to make the upper. That's what the upper will look like, and it's exactly the same as the sole. You'll just do like four rows less of the heel section. So I've attached the upper here to the 
sides and I have pinned them and I'm not going to attach this section I'm going to start attaching here now you could do this step in the same color as the loafer I'm just going to do it in black so that you can see what I'm doing So I have pulled my black yarn through on the center stitch at the back of the heel, chain one, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around. I've reached my first pin here. I'll remove the pin and I'm going to insert my hook in the side and in the upper as well and I'm going to single crochet and I'm going to work across the front and I'm going to do that all the way across. I'm going to insert through both the side and the upper and I'm going to single crochet the sides to the upper. Like that. Worked across and I got to my other pin and I have just removed the pin and now I'm just going to lift that up and continue to single crochet around. Okay, I've worked all the way around and I have slip stitched to join and that's how the little loafer looks. And now I'm going to pass a shoelace through. You could just chain a cord and pass it through. Okay, I passed the shoelace through and I tied it in the front. And there's a cute little finished loafer for little boys.